Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the market. It's currently 4.16 p.m. January 26, 2022. We had FOMC. We had Tesla earnings. So what happened to TradeStation? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. I appreciate that. I hope everyone's doing well, stayed safe today. You know, the fireworks were expected to go off, and it was just more of Chop City. Uh, to be expected. Actually, the fact that they didn't raise rates was pretty interesting. I think that's going to either make the markets really go up again or, you know, more indecisiveness where people are going to keep selling. Uh, Tesla came out with earnings. Of course, they did very well. Um, did not blow away anything, but they dropped off pretty good. They popped and then they dropped to like 884. So almost like a 100 point swing. Um, actually, what's the low on this candle here? 879. And now it's coming back up. Uh, big, just, just chop fast, hard to trade. I don't really want to focus on Tesla today, nor do I want to focus on my trading. I'm going to look at what TradeStation and other platforms were doing today. This is not going to be a rant about TradeStation. I've heard that they get their data from wherever they get their data from and that that's, it was their fault. So I had tons of lagging all morning, then midday, then FOMC and then end of day. And it just makes it so difficult as an individual trader who's just having a hard time as it is and not getting good data where I got in a trade actually. And I thought I was up like, I don't know, 150 bucks and I ended up losing $7, um, which is so weird. I, I was watching my matrix. I was watching my level two and I was watching my prints and I was watching the chart actually as well. Of course, right now everything looks good, right? So we got bid 921 0 um, obviously it's moving really quick, so I can't really give you, but look, notice the bids is lower than the ask, which is how it's supposed to be. So just get ready for my video. I'm going to bring over here. It's quick. It's only 20 seconds. Um, I don't want to dwell on the negatives, but if you find a platform that's really working for you, let me know. I think I'm ready. I mean, I like TradeStation. I'll keep doing videos about TradeStation. Um, but I can't deal. I mean, I love the execution. I mean, I just love certain things about it, but it just seems like when the biggest opportunities are out there platforms just suck and you can't risk getting in or out because you're, you're worried you're not going to get filled or you're going to get the wrong price you're looking at the wrong price price might have moved two bucks um you know in this day and age with so much market data you figured everyone should get a fair chance at it right but the markets aren't fair just the way it is so let me bring this video over here um this is something i recorded i forgot what time i said bad data at trade station i can probably figure out the time here so it was like right after FOMC. It's almost three o'clock. It's probably two forty-five. Actually, it's two fifty-five. Um, and let me make this bigger. And this is just the cues. Q Q Q. Okay, so you can see right away here we have three forty-eight oh three, and then over here we have three forty-eight oh two, and then we have three forty-eight thirty-two on the bid with thirty ones below. And then look on the ass side. We have three forty-seven twenty-one, and three forty-seven thirty, and it goes up. And then it then like so all this stuff is stuck. So these it's almost like they need to get rid of these exchanges because if you get down to here, right, on the NASDAQ and ARCA and, and Edgex and stuff, it looks good. So during these pivotal pivotal moments, I mean it's New York Stock Exchange too, I guess. Um they gotta get rid of these other exchanges. Let's see if it actually changes a little bit for us. So I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna pause it too. Um notice the prints, no movement on the prints. Uh, the chart's stuck here as well. This is only 20 second of video. So you're not, or not even, yeah, 20 seconds. You're not even going to get much movement. So the chart's still stuck, right? So it's still 348.03. That's been 14 seconds. Um, I had 346.75 on this side, 348.27. And we're still seeing 348.02 on the prints. Uh, get down here. Um, here's New York Stock Exchange. These guys are all pretty good, right? So let's keep moving a little bit. So it's still, so again, it's New York Stock Exchange. It's not these guys. These guys are hidden back here because they're like Bats, Arca, EdgeX, Arca, Bats, EdgeX. They're good. They're fine. It's these other guys, MEMX, MRPL, MPRL, BX, Cincinnati or something like that. I don't I don't even know what they stand for. I should know, but I, I don't pay attention to it too much. I just want good data. Um, so a quick rant on TradeStation was... If you find something that's working for you, that you, if, or whether you had problems with TradeStation today, let me know. And, um, you know, hopefully I will be back with some more videos going forward. I did change it up. I'm going to have a few different kinds of videos in the future, so keep an eye out for that. 
um, which are not related to trading at all. And um, you guys take care. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. And again, let me know what you see in your trade station. If you saw any of this or um, you know anything that might help us or others with their trade station platform. All right. Have a good night.